Hey everyone, so today we're going to be going through and we're going to be checking honey stores. Uh, these girls have been very busy, so uh, sourwood is in full flow right now. And I haven't checked on these girls in about a week, a uh, week and a half, so uh, they've had plenty of enough time and minimal disturbance to go through and do their thing. Um, but yeah, so we're uh, we're gonna jump into them and see where they're kind of at, and uh, I'll show you a little clip here of how busy they are early this morning. So, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so this right here is what I wanted to show you guys. Take a look at some of this. I'm gonna give them just a little bit of smoke because there is a lot of bees in this hive. You don't want to really over smoke your super because Here's the thing, if they're putting honey in there and you give them a lot of smoke and that smoke taste, guess what? It's gonna wind right up in your honey. So, I've got one bee right here that is absolutely tearing up my microphone. <laughs> but this right here is what I wanna show you guys. This hive right here is probably one of my top hives. Uh, and, they have absolutely packed it full. I've got a good queen that is laying, and look, look at every bit of that. That is gorgeous. And here's the other thing is, so I haven't gotten into this hive in, in you know, about two weeks, you know, we're gonna have to almost two weeks, and you know, with the sourwood flow going on, they have absolutely packed it. Like I can tell a difference in the weight of the supers. Uh, just from, you know, just from the past like few weeks. You can see right here, like they have built uh, a little bit of burr comb and stuff like that. Just trying to pack everything in there. But if you look on here, every bit of that right there is clear. And that is, that is the sourwood flow. It's even dripping off of my hive tool. But, I mean, it's, it's on right now. So, they're, uh, they're doing really good. And this is the thing, like this is one way, you know, telling you have a really strong hive is even, like this right here is a brood frame and it is just absolutely solid laying pattern looking great bunch of gorgeous brood in there this hive is i am definitely making splits and stuff like that next year off of this hive so but yeah she is doing great um, whenever I lifted the, probably the first like four supers off of this thing, I couldn't, I literally just about couldn't lift them. Um, they were just, I mean, just absolutely chock full. So, but they have another super, an, an empty super without some foundation, or with, uh, uh, without any comb or anything like that on it. So they're going through and they're working on that. But, uh, but they're going through and drawing some comb out and getting a little bit more storage space going. But guys, I honestly got to say, top doing great. So, all right, we'll go through and uh, take a look at a few more. Okay, so uh, out of all of my hives, this one right here is probably 
like one of my strongest. Um, they didn't swarm this year. They had no intentions of swarming. Nothing along those lines, thank God. So, um, but this is what, to me, I would pretty much say this is my second year of beekeeping. But this right here is probably what you would see if you have a hive that doesn't want to swarm. <laughs> Um, they're literally stacked one, two, three, four, five, six supers high. And honestly, I could have went and split this hive off uh, this year, um, but I didn't, uh, mostly because I wanted the honey production this year. Um, number one and number two, uh, I'm kind of running out of space in my apiary. <laughs> Uh, I had to go through and build another, you know, another uh, stand just to kind of house what I've got right now. So, um, but yeah, so this right here is a Carnolian mix. Uh, yeah, well, I say that she's a Carnolian mix. Um, I started out, this hive was a Carnolian. Uh, it swarmed, actually, no, it didn't swarm. Uh, I ended up splitting it off the first year, like once or twice. Um, but they've done, they've done fantastic. So let's get into them and see, uh, see what our honey stores kind of look like. I'm gonna give them a little bit of smoke here at the entrance. There's a lot of bees hanging out here at the entrance too. So there's no doubt there's, there's going to be a lot of bees in here. So whenever it comes to my inspection on on a hive that is just absolutely full. Uh, I just wanna make sure that they got eggs. Uh, this hot, funny, funny story about this one. Uh, so I, for the entire month of June, I never saw the queen in here, not even once. Uh, she just absolutely just played hide and seek with me. And then my last inspection, uh, I finally found her. <laughs> and so, and she's, she's been a great queen. Uh, you know, I finally found her and she looked good. Everything was looking great. So I didn't even mark her. I just stuck her back in there. So, um, you know, I will say this, whenever you go through and you do inspections on your hive, if you can't find the queen, don't panic. Uh, you know, the biggest thing you want to make sure, are they drawing some comb up here? No, not, not yet. They haven't quite made it up, up to that point, so, which is fine. Oh, I know this one's going to be heavy. Um... But yeah, don't, don't panic. Biggest thing is you wanna make sure that you have eggs. You wanna have one egg for every cell. And as long as you got that, it's not that big of a deal. So, uh, you can kinda of tell right here, got that beautiful white comb nectar flow going on right now sour woods in and that white that right there's our sour wood that white nectar is our sour wood and there I mean just like my other one of my other hives uh, is like this and it's it is full and they've already went up and started working on their next super. So. Let's get that down there. All right, let's move through this thing. Let's get on down to the bottom here. I know girls. They're starting to hum at me. and see what they're doing in the brood nest.
light. Okay. a little smoke. I'm gonna stick this because they're pouring out. They're like, what are you doing? We were totally fine until you decided to come around. Alright. Let's get this queen excluder off here. Set it right in there. Alright. Because of my luck finding this queen in here, I'm not too too hopeful that I'm gonna find her. Um, honestly, she has the exact same pattern as uh, as her sisters, so or her offspring. What do you want to say? There we go. because there's a lot of bees in here. And even though I am looking for just eggs, like, I still look for the queen on her frame. Look at that. Look at that brood pattern that she's got right there. Good stuff, good stuff. Some larvae in there, they're probably getting ready to cap that. think she's made her way back around this side. Um, last time I checked, she was on that first frame and she laid and they've done already capped a lot of that over. So here's a pretty light frame. I bet you she's probably either on this one, or she's laid it. So, 
Oh, there we go. We got eggs. Let's see if she's on this one. Let's see if I can spot her. Let's see her. She's she's sneaky too. No, nope, I don't see her on this one. But I know you can't really quite see down inside those cells, but that right there is pretty much where the brood is hatched out. And so she has literally come right back behind them and laid, laid some further eggs. Um, some of the broods already starting to chew their way out. Uh, I've got light colored bees on here with the like little white hairs. Uh, that's a sign that they are fresh, that that's fresh brood. So that's just hatched out. All right, well, let's put these girls back together. Look out. All right. And then I'm gonna give them just a little bit of smoke and I'm just gonna stick that other frame right down in the center there. Get the queen excluder back on them, drop them down, and we're good to go. I don't need to be in this hive anymore. And that's it. We're good. We will get the plant scooter back on them and seal them back up. Get out of the way. but they're strong. All right, guys. On to the next one. <laughs>